Hello, so I thought I would make a video on the round trip of getting an animation out of Unreal Engine and into Cascador. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, just because I've been playing around with the new version of it and I found there's just not much info on how to get an animation in there that works. I'm just going to use this animation just for the sake of it. Just one of the ones that comes with Unreal Engine. You have to record the animation. If you don't record it, you get problems on the mesh when you take it into Cascador. I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. I'm just going to trim this back down because obviously I didn't press play really quickly. So once you've got the animation trimmed, Got the animation trimmed, exported as per usual. I use these settings, FPX 2018, and there's a different settings. We obviously don't need morph targets, we don't need collision, and we don't need the level of detail, so unticked all them. Um, and I'm, I am exporting the preview mesh. Now you do need a preview mesh. You don't have to export all of them though, because you just need the mesh. So you import the mesh separately from the animation. So now we're going to add the model and we're going to do it from the animation that we just made. But it wouldn't matter as it's the Unreal Engine mannequin. So long as you were, at, now that you've got that mannequin in, you could import any of the animations onto that mesh. We obviously in the wrong orientation. It's very easy to fix. So, but I'm not going to fix it at the moment. I'm going to bring the animation in first. Brought in the other animation first, like a one that I just exported without recording. I'm just going to flip it around so that you can see. As you can see, he's got a problem on the shoulder. It isn't always the shoulder, it can be literally any joint. Uh, he's got a problem on his hand as well. And that's because I didn't record it. It's another one that we're, I recorded. So these are your different modes where you can look at the different types of things. There's joint modes, so I'm just going to select all of the joints. Left click and select all of the frames. Set the screen so it's easy to work with. I'm going to lock the interval edit mode. Scene settings, fix angle, rotation. Rotate the 90 degrees, as you can see, and change that angle if you want. Get rid of that for the moment. As you can see, he's got no errors on his mesh or anything. Now we need to make the rig, quick rigging tool. You can actually manually put them all in, but as it's an Unreal Engine mannequin, it normally picks it up fine. Create rig, your rig's now created. This is the auto pause mode, and as you can see, it says enable auto pause until, so you can enable it, and then you can grab hold of the joints. That'll help predict, as you can see. I like the point controller mode. If you double click a joint, it selects all the lower hierarchy so that you can move that joint. Also, it's worth noting that this is the uh, tail mode. Probably be better off showing you on the hands, to be honest. It gets that little symbol on when it's in tail mode. As you can see, it makes 
doing the hands very similar. It took me, I'd get a hint off a friend to uh, find out how to do this because I, I hadn't noticed that at all. So that's what happens if you don't have it on. And obviously you've got your local and stuff as well. So this is the physics mode. I didn't say we've got a couple of glitches in the mesh there. Let's select the whole mesh. Let's see where the glitches are. Look at the outline in there. All I'm doing is forcing it to use the animation frame. And then once you're happy with your results, you just hit this button and it'll put this animation onto your actual animation. And it's worth knowing that you can't, out of an animation, get rid of all of the keyframes. And now I've only got the start and the end keyframe, as you can see. And then you can have it add them all. Now obviously his hands aren't going down, so he's going straight from one to the other. So you probably would have uh, needed an in-between keyframe. Probably would need to, to make some alterations. <laughs> it's got no fulcrum points, that's why it's doing that. But it's the same. There you go. So it's quite good from a couple of frames what I can get up to. I stopped the recording and then realised that uh, they hadn't shown how to export it back to Unreal Engine, so I've put it back in and I added a couple of extra key frames just to make it look a bit better. You know, kind of do justice. As you can see, the physics and that works really well when you let it do its stuff with a couple of key frames. Only took Five keyframes. Right, so to export it, obviously you go to the export. Without meshes, it's just going to send the animation. Now, I find that fine for most things. Scene's going to do the whole scene and selected objects uh, is exactly what it is. It's the selected object. You're best off going to the outliner and the, selecting the mannequin mesh as well if you're using selected objects otherwise it won't import into Unreal Engine if you're using that option um, as you already have the mesh the mesh wasn't made near I tend to just do it without meshes find somewhere to um, export it to I just exported it straight. There's no options, it's just the without meshes. So select your skeleton. Obviously it's the mannequin one that was already in. 
and as you haven't got any mesh, it doesn't give you the other options. And that's it in Unreal Engine. I didn't see done a really good job. Probably need all of his hands and stuff as well. I hope this helps. See you next time.